Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update, where I take the news of the week and compress it into a bite-sized video. Alongside a bunch of announcements of physical runs, which we'll get to later, Limited Run Games have announced they will be porting and releasing the time-traveling visual novel title The House of Fata Morgana on Vita in the first quarter of the next year. It's unknown if they'll be using the currently available Steam release or a fresh translation. Battle Rockets, a two-player shooter fighting game hybrid, is coming to Vita sometime in 2019 from developer Gumbo Machine. It offers an eight-fight story mode, three different local multiplayer modes with one player on either side of the Vita, and eight different characters with unique powers between them. The story mode may be dropped later into development, however. A new Italia All-Stars game, titled Nelk and the Legendary Alchemists, is coming to Vita in Japan sometime this year. It will contain appearances from lots of cast members from the previous Italia games, a town building system, and a protagonist that isn't an alchemist. This probably won't come west on Vita, knowing the patterns of Tecmo Kawe's game releases recently. Just one date this week. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Infinite Combat has been delayed to 2019 in Japan. Limited Run Games announced a metric ton of releases, so they're all getting in this story in chronological order. Valhalla and 2064 Read Only Memories release on the same day, June 29th. Salt and Sanctuary will be available on August 24th. Phantom Breaker Battlegrounds, Exiles End, and Senran Kagura Bon Appetit Full Course, a version with all the DLC, will release sometime in the summer. Iconoclast will be available sometime in the third quarter, and they announced Spelunky, but without a release window. And finally this week, peripheral manufacturer Joetsu, previously responsible for Vita remote play grips with actual triggers, have created a Kickstarter campaign for an add-on faceplate for their Vita 1000 series grip that adds triggers that touch the front of the screen, so you can play games that need to be tapped in those corners. The Kickstarter has over a month to succeed. That's it for this week. Hey, we got one announcement from E3. It was just in the last place people usually expect announcements. Oh well, it happened to happen eventually. Upcoming videos include a look at the Japanese version of Liar, Princess, and the Blind Prince. I don't have anything else lined up at the moment, but I am working my way through Muff Love Unlimited, so hopefully I'll have something interesting to talk about when I'm done with that. Thanks as always to the patrons, Edia, Bethaldu, The Other Richard, Brian, Joey, Twiach, Chen, The Other Joey, Adam, Raymond, Eric, Matthew, Miguel, Alan, Caleb, JR, Brett, Kyle, Billy, Gary, David, and Blizz. Like, subscribe, comment, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week.